Paul, finally got a home game under your belt after all these years. Enjoyed it? Uh, immensely. Uh, a lot of pressure. Um, used to leaving at half eight, nine, ten o'clock in the morning. Today, leaving at one. Trouble is, you, uh, you have a lot of time to think when uh, you live so close to the ground. So, uh, I think uh, I was getting a bit petulant and a bit, a bit excited. And uh, my legs started to... felt a bit heavy to start with. It took a while. Uh, fantastic crowd re- reception. What I got from the crowd. Um, but the boys put on a good show. I mean, we totally dominated the game. I think if you looked at uh, the stats, it'd be frightening. Um, never had a save to make. A couple of crosses. And if I have that into the end of the season and in the playoffs, then happy days. And you couldn't really have asked for, for better as a goalkeeper coming in like that? Oh, definitely. I mean, uh, last week it was. Uh, had a few bits and bobs and I think that just give the lads a bit of confidence that the old man still got a bit about him and uh, they've just done fantastic for us today um, no real cut, cut opportunities um, but that's because we played a good attacking football and put them on the back foot from, from the minute the, from the first minute to the last and it was 1-0 but it could have been 4-5 or five, especially at the end of the first half there, I think it? if we'd have got another goal Craig I think it would have been uh, the gates would have opened and it would have been uh, like a party party time game for us but uh, got all your hands up to uh, Clarkey and Worcester they defended uh, with their lives Didn't, don't recall their keeper making many saves at all uh, there was a lot of shots and a lot of bodies in the way deflection and so def- fair play to them they've came here when they've got nothing to play for and they, they've tried to give a game a win's a win though at this stage of the season that's all that matters it's massive we've got to go on a, if we can go on a crest of a little uh, what we've got now five left if we can go on a little crest and keep winning, it puts you in a great position and uh, the belief goes up more and more and more each week. You get that winning mentality. And was that part of your decision to come back if you can get in the playoffs and have a real stab at promotion back to the conference? No, the real reason I came back is Boston United, isn't it? You don't get opportunities like uh, this, especially at my age, to come back. I mean, the playoffs and everything, it's, it's a bonus, but uh, to come play back at York Street um, and... I never got a chance to say farewell to them, and uh, hopefully that I'll have a couple more years here if uh, if things go right and uh, clock up a few more appearances and then have a proper farewell. And Jason's first thought, I think, as manager, let's get Paul Vastock in, so must be flattered by that. Definitely. I mean, uh, as he said to uh, young Ricky Drury, he says uh, we haven't gone for a big height and goalkeeper. We've gone for someone with experience, and uh, I think. Uh, Experiences uh, within the goalkeeper is a massive part for the, for the lads to know that they're coming in final push. That they've not got a young gun coming in. What's gonna What's gonna make a couple of rickets? To be fair, because he's got to learn his trade. And I ain't gonna say I ain't gonna make rickets, but uh, I should have a, a process of elimination on uh, on the mistakes and uh, my positional sense. So uh, hopefully it all bodes well for us. He didn't get the result last week, so it was a, a long seven days, but seven more days now to Telford and a, a massive match there at the top of the league. It is, it is, and uh, nothing to fear. I tell you, there's nothing to fear. What I saw in training with these boys is uh, there's a great set of lads togetherness, but the football they play in training, and, and like obviously you've, you've seen a glimpse of it today at times when they allow us, is it's second to none. And uh, if we can keep people on the front foot, and keep attacking then uh, we're going to have no problems at the back.